An elephant calf has been critically injured by a snare, and it's a race against time to save him. In February 2015, the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust spotted an elephant calf with a devastating injury. The youngster, estimated to be only one year old, had stepped into an illegal poaching snare and its wire had cut through to the bone. The mobile veterinary unit cleaned the wound on site and applied green clay, a natural remedy to aid the healing process and prevent further infection. Three weeks later in March, the team returned to check on the calf and saw that the wound had deteriorated. If they were to leave the youngster in this condition, in the brutal Kenyan bush, he faced certain death. It was a race against the clock to transfer the calf 350 kilometers to the Trust's medical center in Nairobi National Park. Once sedated, he was driven to a local airstrip where a plane was waiting. The team unloaded the 200 pound calf from the Jeep and carried him on board. Before long, he was airborne and one step closer to receiving the care he so desperately needed. At the center, the calf's leg was once again cleaned and dressed. Just too bad. He was then kept in intensive care so the team could continue treating the wound and monitoring his condition. Incredibly, only three weeks later, the calf was well enough to be released into the center's nursery where he joined other injured and orphaned calves. The team named the calf Marshotti after the area in which he was found, and it's hoped that one day he'll be well enough to be released back into the wild. Two months after the rescue, he continues to thrive and has developed a close bond with Gil Ai, another young calf. In the past six months, the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust anti-poaching teams have confiscated 1,762 illegal snares, and their fight continues to protect Kenya's magnificent wildlife from its greatest threat, man. <laughs>